So in my last few videos, I've been going over leaks we got before BlizzCon 2023 for Diablo 4, and likewise in this video, I want to go over some more information within these leaks, specifically that there is the possibility we will be getting a follower system in Diablo 4, potentially with the first expansion. Now, mercenary or follower systems have a pretty long history in the Diablo franchise, starting with Diablo 2, where you could only use a follower in the act they were obtained in. No one really used them. Then they got updated with the Diablo 2 expansion. And then in Diablo 3, we got another version of a follower system. And then later down the road in Diablo 3 seasons, they were updated even more to where you could give your follower a full set of gear, like something you were wearing. And there was even modifiers on legendary gear that if your follower was wearing that piece, you would also get the benefit of those effects. So there's been quite a lot of development on this type of system over the decades of Diablo. And I think this type of system could work very well in Diablo 4 as an extension of character progression and customization. Now, as Diablo 4 was being developed, I think it was being created to be more closely tied to Diablo 2 instead of Diablo 3, but as the game was developed further and further, and as it's been changing since it's been released, I think Diablo 4 is going more towards Diablo 3 and even more towards something like Path of Exile than I think it is towards something like Diablo 2. So when talking about a possible follower system, I think we would probably see a bit more of a complex follower system with more depth than something like we got in Diablo 3, but it's still probably going to be more inspired from Diablo 3 than Diablo 2 system. Now, when looking at the actual leaks, there's two different leaks that have some information on a possible follower or mercenary system. The first one talking specifically about an equipment system and a talent tree. Now, now in Diablo 3, you have an equipment system when the game first came out and for a lot of its history, you could equip a few items and you had like four different ability choices you could choose on that specific follower. And then as Diablo 3 progressed, it was updated, getting to the point, like I mentioned, that you could put a full set of armor on that follower and there was some more specific and unique stats that would allow you to get effects from the armor they're wearing as well. Now, if a follower system was added into Diablo 4, we would probably expect that an equipment system would be something that would be there and a talent tree. And if we've seen anything from Diablo 4 is that they want to continue to expand upon talent trees and they like making these bigger talent trees than what we've seen previous to that in the Diablo franchise. And with something like the talent trees and Paragon boards, it seems like they're trying to go more towards something that you would see in Path of Exile, but still have it be a more casual version of that. So that's what I'll probably expect with a talent tree for followers. They would want it to be bigger, a bit more elaborate, probably have a bit more depth than we saw with Diablo 3, but they would still want the system to be more casual than something you would see in Path of Exile. Now, in the main leak I've been getting information from, it also mentions a lot of the followers you could be getting in the system, specifically mentioning a Berserker Crone, a Bounty Hunter, a Cursed Child, a Maiden, a Mongrel Scholar, and a Shield Bearer. Now, pretty much all of these do make sense to have as followers in a Diablo game, but a lot of these names do seem to be more work in progress names, they'll probably be a bit more simplified or have more commonly used names for the Diablo franchise. And I do think when looking across multiple of these leaks, it actually does seem like a bunch of this information is stuff that was not finalized yet. So it seems to be kind of a mix of like work in progress names and then some stuff that seems like would be able to be in a launch candidate of an expansion. And a follower system is actually something I've talked about before Diablo 4 was even released. I talked about some of the things that I would like to see in a system like this. And we actually got some data mining pointing to this being a possibility before Diablo 4 was even released. When Diablo 4 was going through alpha testing, there was some data mining information, some of it mentioning a follower-like system. Now, when looking past all these different leaks and data mining, I think for a system like this for Diablo 4, I think the main thing that the developers would want to be doing, especially when looking at how they're developing Diablo 4's new updates and seasons and the future of the game, I think the main thing a system like this would be targeting is to expand 
expand upon character progression and customization without it being directly tied to your character and splitting up a part of your character progression into this follower system allows them to add more depth without adding a ton of harder to understand complexity. Because say if they just added another random character progression system with like some other different talent tree tied directly to your character, that would be more complex than having this mercenary system where, oh, now you get a follower that can follow you around. You can put some gear on them and you can choose some talents for them. That is generally a lot easier for more casual players to understand than just adding in more directly onto your character. And as we've seen with Diablo 3, there is a lot of ways that this can directly impact your build, your gearing choices, and even change up the entirety of your build because of different effects you could potentially share with your follower. Now, I think one of the things Diablo 3 did later in its life with the follower system is actually perfect to be implemented to followers in Diablo 4. Now, in season 23 of Diablo 3, they added an emanate system. Now, basically what this was, was on pieces of gear, let's say a legendary piece of gear, it could drop as an emanate item. Now, what this meant was the special effect of that item, when equipped on your follower, would also emanate to you. So it would be like you were wearing that legendary item for its special effect. Now, why this would work so well in Diablo 4 is because so much of character customization in Diablo 4 are your legendary aspects. But with how legendary aspects work, if you replace a legendary piece of gear with a unique, you just lose a legendary aspect slot. And with a lot of builds in the game, you actually need a certain amount of legendary aspect slots for your build to even work. So there may be some really good unique items that would work perfect for your build, but you legitimately cannot fit them in because you need these legendary aspects. They're too strong or too important for your build to actually work. But if they added an emanate like system, when they added followers into Diablo 4, you could have the possibility where you equip a bunch of items on your follower, and then you get these rare drops where you put a legendary item with a legendary aspect on your follower, and then it emanates the effect of that legendary aspect to you as well. Now, this doesn't just directly add a ton of power to your character, to your character's gear, but it allows you to specifically get more legendary aspects, allowing you to potentially equip more unique items. And not only would this help to alleviate some of the issues that Gearing currently has, so you could equip more uniques if you wanted them, but we know the developers of Diablo 4 have said that they want to add sets into Diablo 4 at some point in the future. There's also the potential of other gear types being added. This would also preemptively help alleviate gearing even more because if they add, say, set items, now we just have too many different things we want to use that we can't because we need so many of these legendary aspects. Then we have maybe one or two uniques we need. There's no slots left for more uniques you might want to use or then possible set items in the future. But if you have a follower that you can just put a bunch of, say, legendary aspects on and emanate that special effect to you, you can have more possible set items or more possible uniques or maybe even have some new combinations of legendary aspects. So this just allows for much more extensive build creation. And then even looking past a possible emanate type system, you also just have the kind of mini game of gearing up your followers. And we do know that gearing and itemization is going to have a massive overhaul before the first expansion is released. In fact, it's coming with season four. If this overhaul of gearing, of itemization, of stats is interesting, then that just adds more interesting possibilities. Also wanting to get interesting gear for your follower and with them adding more and more unique items, more and more legendary aspects, possibly set items in the future, being able to also gear up your follower with a ton of interesting effects and finding all these cool combinations can potentially just add a ridiculous amount of depth to your overall Diablo 4 gameplay. And like I mentioned, I think this is a really good way to add more depth without making it super complex as if they were just adding a new system tied directly onto your character. It splits it up so it's easier to understand a very good way to just add more interesting possibilities and adding a lot more depth into the game, which is something Diablo 4 is obviously needing. But that's pretty much all I want to go over, so thanks for watching.